Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another daily upload. So we're going to be showing you guys our matches versus Totem today. There's some really good matches. Um, you know, I don't want to spoil it. I feel like a lot of you guys already know what happens, but I don't want to spoil it too much. So we're going to hop into the games. I'm going to show you guys exactly what happened in every game, the comps, just everything about it. So let's just hop right into it, show you guys what happened. Okay, so just a warning, if I'm not making this crazy eye contact, it's because my camera is in a really weird spot. I'm kind of like moving things around, um, around my area. Uh, but anyways, let's hop into the first game. So we decided to go Bell, Lola, and Barley. Um, sorry that my face cam is just in the way, but don't worry. I'm just going to win my lane as always. Um, so they're going to get the first bolt. The reason we went for Zar, or sorry, not Zar, for Bell and Lola is because it has really good defense. Um, Bell is just a really good brawler. You know, just regardless of what's in the meta on this map and specifically on Siege because of the defense, it's just very, very strong. So OG is going to go down at the start. Uh, Zara is kind of doing his thing in the mid. Mori can't really do much on my lane because I'm a Barley. He's a Lola. You know, he can't really shoot around walls too well. So I have a pretty easy time on my lane. Zara gets some taps. OG's doing pretty good over here, uh, but he does end up going down to Maru. Zara does end up getting the kill though. So we are in a pretty good spot. Uh, this is where we want to be. Now, the issue here is that Zara goes down and Zara should not be going down there. What that's going to lead to is them getting it really even. If we're going to win the second bot, we want to get as many bolts as possible stored for the third bot. Now they have seven. They're about to get eight. So we already know we have to go all in here because we're not going to be able to hold on. We're not going to be able to defend um, or not defend. Sorry, but we're not going to be able to win the third bot. So we have to do as much damage as possible here. So I use my super onto the Ike. I, we get some damage, but they're just absolutely melting this thing with the Lola Ego. It's putting in a ton of work. I'm going to take a couple Barley shots. OG's going to use his Super and Gadget and get some shots as well. And we are going to do 49%. So, I mean, not the greatest of pushes considering we have a Barley. They took it out really, really fast. But we do have a Lola for defense. We do have a Bell for defense. So it's not like our defense is bad whatsoever. We have really good defense actually. So I move up over here. I'm trying to get my super so I can kind of just make a dive in, do a little bit more percentage. I think I could do like 14, 15, 16% if I can do that. You know, we'd have a pretty comfortable lead with our defense. But unfortunately, I go down, then Zar goes down pretty early. So they have a 16 bot. We're not going to get an early mark on it. OG's going to start spraying the bot. You know, he's going to do his thing. Zar tags it, but they have a Rico and a Lola already on that left side doing tons of work. They're going to come in. We're going to try and body block. And, you know, maybe you could say we were close, but not really. They almost finish it. And that is going to be it for game one. So a couple, you know, small mistakes. And I think just a little bit of over aggression kind of caused this game one loss. We were doing a really good job at the start, uh, tying the first one and winning the second. But then I think halfway through that second bot is, you know, when we went down kind of for no reason is, you know, where we lost this game. So uh, let's go on to game number two and let's show you guys what happened. All right, so going into game two, we're going to keep the exact same comp. Uh, I thought I did pretty good on my lane. So I said, you know, um, I'll stay on the Barley. They said they can't really handle the Rico and it would probably be better if I lane the Rico. So that was the goal uh, going to this game. So I matched up with the Rico over here. I get him the one shot. He gets me to one shot, but he's going to be able to walk up and get the bolt. Uh, left side's going to win their lane. Zara is going to go down. I'm not sure if he has his mark. I don't think he does uh but they're doing a really good job all three of their players are just you know kind of just dominating and doing their thing zara doesn't have mark i guess he went down a little bit too fast so this is a pretty bad spot for us soy is going to go right down the middle break the wall which is obviously something you want to do and they get tons of damage right here so it's basically we got to win this bot or we're screwed that's kind of the situation we're in the next few bolts are going to spawn in the mid after that one on the top left so i just wanted to clear out the mid with my super we get a nice pinch in i get the heal gadget so we you know we're kind of looking pretty good over here but unfortunately og gets to one shot uh and you know he has to play a little bit passive soy is one shot for like don't i don't even know like 10 seconds 15 seconds he's just walking around one shot no one can seem to kill him and, you know, he's going to end up picking up a bolt. Unfortunately, we can't get that kill. Maru's one on the right side. I'm going to go down trying to kill him on the push. And now, you know, again, we don't have the mark. They have two bolts going into the last bot. I have to use my super. You know, everyone's kind of using all the utility we have on defending this bot. So going into, you know, the last stage right here and trying to get positioning back is going to be extremely difficult. I'm trying to walk up and do my thing. 
Um, but unfortunately, you know, it's a little bit hard. I get pinched out. OG uses his super, but they're, you know, they're pretty well set up. They played this game front to back pretty flawlessly. Um, definitely deserve to win this one. And they're going to take game number two in Siege. And now we are going to be down one nothing in sets the first set i always find to be the most important set it's kind of like the trend setter you know you want to get good positive vibes if you win that first set even if you win the second and the third you always believe you have a shot um and then obviously you know you just have that one set lead which is obviously really important so let's go into set number two now and show you guys the painfulness that took place okay so going into this game i just want to state that lair cake is officially my least favorite map in the game um, forever now um, until I get a good memory on Lair Cake because all I have from 2019 until now are just brutal, terrible memories that I don't like and I don't even want to think about. So this is now my least favorite map in the game. Don't even want to play on it ever again. OG's going to get a really good kill on the Soy to start it off. Um, again, my cam's in the way of Soy, so you're not going to see too much of that, you know, sprout shooting shots at a tick, but uh, we're lucky that's the matchup, I guess. Um, so we got Piper v Piper right here. It's kind of a stalemate. We're kind of, you know, both just doing our thing. He's going to get a tap on me and hit a really, really clean shot. And that's a throw by me because, I mean, there's no reason for me to die there. We have the lead. Um, if you have the lead, there's, and, you know, we're just playing that mid, mid game, you know, there's really no reason to die whatsoever. Uh, luckily though, I am good at clicking the green button. So I get the kill back and now it is five to three for us. I'm going greedy. I want another kill. Uh, Mori, you know, he hits a good shot, hits his first shot on me, and he's going to be able to pick up that, uh, that shot. He's going to curve. I'm forced to jump, and that kind of ruins my grass. Um, so again, you know, not the greatest play by me. Probably shouldn't have jumped there, but, you know, it was that or my life. So, I don't know. Kind of a tough decision. OG gets hit by a couple of really good sprout shots from Soy. Uh, Soy's actually a really good sprout, which is something, uh, I've learned from casting Queso and you know these games but they get us in a corner it's a really bad spot for us maru goes down but me and czar also go down and then they take the two star lead so i'd like to think we've had control for well not control but the lead i suppose for majority of this game uh but we kind of fell apart at the end um probably you know a couple piper misplays i don't really like making bad plays and there were two this game and you know that's probably why we lost so this game's probably on me um that but that's gonna be game number one of bounty um so yeah i mean 1-0 lead in sets for them 1-0 in the current sets we gotta start winning some games obviously or else we're screwed so let's hop into game number two and let's see what happened all right so going into game number two they're gonna switch it up and they're going to bring out a Leon now. We're also going to switch it up and bring out a Rico because we wasn't, we weren't sure if they were going to play tanks or not. And Rico's pretty good into tanks. Um, this game is going to be really hard for me though because it's, it's just mid v mid. But he also has a Leon turret, so he can just, you know, kind of just go wherever he wants. Uh, we both land shots on each other, but because they have a Sprout and we have a Tick, you know, I, I personally like Tick a little bit more. Uh, but Sprout's just going to be able to walk up and pick up that blue star. So they're going to take the lead. So now they don't have to go aggro at all. They can kind of just take their time. They tried to go for a play over there. Um, unfortunately, Soy missed his shot onto OG. So Mori uses a curve kind of not for no reason, but um, it doesn't end up in a kill. Zar almost goes down over there. I don't know how he stays alive. That gadget is pretty broken, but uh, he is going to be able to. Mori hitting some taps over here on me. I got to back up because he can just click the green button and curve me. And at this point, we're in a pretty bad spot. I'm losing my lane. Zar's losing his lane. OG's losing his lane. Uh, but none of us are hard losing, but none of us have positions. So we're going to count it as losing. I go for a curve on Mori because I have three left with 50 seconds left in the game. Um, but I whiff it. So that doesn't really go too well. Zar it's a full clip. Maru uses a super because of it. Me and Zar get a pinch and then we take the lead. So that's, you know, that's pretty cool uh, for us. I still have two curves left. So I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot. We're able to pick up the kill over there on Mari. So at this point, we're doing pretty good. We're going to get the pinch on Maru over there as well. And then OG, he's kind of in a tough matchup over here. So he's kind of just trying to tie. Uh, Mori is getting pretty aggressive over here. He's a really good Piper, by the way. It's just something I want to say. You know, he's a very, very good Piper. Uh, I get a shot off over there on Soy. Zar gets a good gadget. I go down. Zar gets a kill. Zar's got to stay up. You know, he's kind of wiggling. He's doing his own thing, but he's going to go back into the spawn. He's going to play this one safe. And we're actually going to win our first game. Look at us go. We're so happy. You know, I'm clapping my hands. You know, we're giving each other props. You know, there's a smile on Zar's face. 
Um, you know, we actually have a shot here. So let's go into game number three. Uh, my new least favorite game of all time. And let's show you guys what happens. All right, so going into the next game here, I just want to say I get extremely sad watching this. It's probably my 68th time watching this game, um, and it does not get better um, with watches. It, it probably actually gets more painful. So we're going to run the triple tanks here. Um, it's not something that I would say we're necessarily great at, but you know what? You have to take some risks if you want to win, and that's what we planned on doing, and we did it. So we're able to pick up the first kill over there on Sprout. We have some really good positioning right now. OG gets a kill. Zar gets a kill, and we are playing this triple tank to perfection. That's what we want. OG with a good body block over there, and we get an early lead. If you get an early lead with tanks, you know, it's typically pretty good. You just go in and trade. Um, OG is going to use super. It breaks grass, which I don't know if that's really great. I mean, if he gets the kill, I think it's worth it 10 out of 10 times, but obviously we don't want to open up the map. Opening up the map kind of sucks. Uh, Piper did get gadget, though. I mean super and that kind of messed up OG's play. Uh, but OG and Zar get, you know, a good kind of combination over there. We're going to pick up a couple kills. Pick up that kill on Soy. And the bubble's going to pick up the kill on Mari. So at this point, we are up by 7 stars with 45 seconds left playing triple tank. So I'm just going to break down every mistake one by one that we make. Because I've watched this 100 times. Mistake number one is going back. We should not have gone back over there. I'm trying to stay aggressive. It's something we all know. We It's not their fault. I'm not trying to make it seem like it's their fault. Uh, just because I'm aggressive right now. Second throw. I go in. I don't get the kill over there on Soy. So I lose a couple stars. I make it from a seven star game to a five star game. Next throw is I don't go for the Rico. Next throw is Zar misses his super. Next throw is OG being tucked away in a corner. Two of us die. OG dies. We throw the game very hard in a very, 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 very winnable game. All of us throw. Um, these guys are laughing. They're like, oh, these chumps just threw that game. Um, and we are just like, there is no way that just happened. Like, there is actually no shot. We just lost that game because now we're down to nothing instead of being tied 1-1, you know, props all around. You know, we we like to keep positive vibes. I mean, it's hard to be positive after a game like that, but um, I think it's pretty important to stay happy on the stage, uh, not get too down on yourself. You know, Paula's like, oh, my God, they threw that game. Look how bad they are. She's laughing at us. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for set number two. Let's hop into I don't want to watch this replay. Let's just hop into set number three and let's show you guys what happens. All right, so going into set number three now, we have Backyard Bowl, aka the slowest paced map in competitive history, maybe. Um, and we're going to go with a Byron Lola comp um, and Spike. Now, OG plays Team Spike for us. He also plays Team Lola, so our comp was a little bit scuffed um, in terms of, you know, comfort. But I think it was a pretty good comp. They have a Gene Lane, a Piper mid, and a Lola. I like their comp a lot better i mean i like our comp but i just like theirs a little bit better um but i'm gonna be laning soy czar laning a piper which is a counter and uh og versus gene which i mean it really isn't the greatest matchup it's kind of just people poking except gene's gonna eventually get pull maru misses his gene pull czar misses his byron super um and it's kind of me versus alola just spraying at open areas that you know we have to walk through so we're kind of just tying you know we're doing our thing um, but it's pretty difficult. Mari weighs a super over there. You know, Zara's getting some good heals in. You know, I think we're doing a pretty good job considering the positioning we're in at the moment. I wouldn't, you know, it's a, this is a pretty tough comp for us to win into, to be honest. Um, I mean, the Gene versus Spike, it's kind of like a tie, but eventually over time, you know, Spike's going to run out of that cactus. Um, Byron versus, uh, versus Piper is not a matchup you want to have. And then we have open lane. Lola v Lola, which isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, I guess I can just outskill my lane. Plus, I have Byron heals, but he's got a wall. I don't, so that just kind of sucks. Um, but, I mean, this game, it's just slow pace. It's kind of even right now. There's nothing OG can do right now, though, because he doesn't have a cactus left anymore. Um, and Gene has pull. Now, he gets kind of bailed out by the fact that Mari uses his pull on a cactus. Um, so, we start to push up over here. Good shots over there by Mari. Pretty bad uh, Lola super placement, I guess, by me. Um, and they're starting to push up. Zar's doing a pretty good job considering the matchup, but it is... This is tough, man. Like, this is such a tough position. We've been in basically since the start of the game. 
Uh, we're just trying to hold on for dear life over here. We almost get the kill on Mori, which probably could have gotten us some positioning, but obviously we don't get it. Uh, it's a pretty tough spot for us. Zara goes down. It's a 3v2, so OG's just going to super that like kind of area of the ball so they can't pick it up. But we're kind of screwed at this point. Um, Zara uses his super. Gene's got super. Um, Mari's got super. Soy's got super. They're trying to make plays. And, uh, and they make it. I mean, they played that comp really well. I think they had a little bit of an out comp over us. They're pretty hyped up. Um, and you know what? We're kind of like, well, this is not, you know, the greatest spot to be in. You know, down 2-0 in sets, down 1-0 in the set. And these guys are feeling themselves. You know, we've, we've been in greater... I mean, look at me. I just look depressed at this point. Um, but you know what? We're still happy. We still give props to each other. Uh, we still believe in ourselves you know i'm looking at brawlers i'm like hmm you know what what do i like playing what do we what do we enjoy and uh we found a decent comp for game two so let's run that game and uh let's show you guys what happened there all right so going into game two um i'm gonna hop on the piper because you know what if if i'm gonna go out i'm going out on the piper like i'm i'm putting it all on my piper um if i'm gonna go out og's gonna hop on the lola because Lola is a pretty good brawler and I feel like we have to have a Lola and then we're gonna have Zar on the Amber So they're gonna have Leon Lola and Piper So it's basically just mirror outside of Leon versus Amber which I mean both brawlers, you know have their good parts and their bad parts I'd say Leon's a little bit better on this map, but I mean regardless I'm pretty comfortable with our comp Mori does two tap me, you know, it was kind of toxic of him I didn't really enjoy that too much uh, So Mori, you know if you can uh, not do that next time we play. I'd appreciate it, but Soy's gonna make a good play. Mari's gonna make a good play, and they're gonna take a very early one to nothing lead. So the cards are, you know, they're pretty stacked against us. You know, it's one nothing for them uh, in games. It's one nothing, you know, in the game. It's two nothing in sets. You know, this is looking kind of scary. Leon goes invisible. He's gonna get the kill. Mori went for the uh, curve because he's like, all right, we're ending this now. But OG's gonna tank that, or not tank that. He's gonna get the kill. I'm going to be able to get the kill on Leon, and now we're kind of resetting. Um, and they've used some gadgets. They've used a lot of utility at this point. So now it's kind of our time. I get a shot on Moru. I get another shot on Moru. So this allows Zara to uh, to push up here. OG's getting some really good positioning. Zara's getting some good positioning. So now this is, you know, this is kind of our chance to, to make something happen. OG's going deep into their base. He's going to be able to pick up one kill. We're going to be able to pick up another and we are going to get a goal. Look at us, you know, doing things to win a game. Pretty impressive, I know. Um, so, you know, this is getting pretty interesting here. 1-1, one, one, you know, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna go down without trying. So I'm gonna go for a curve over there on Mori. He jumps. I don't know if I jumped there. Um, you know, I, what am I gonna say? You know, he's clapping us right now, but I think that was kind of a waste of a jump over there. Cause he's, you know, he's not in any better position as he would be if he died, but he just would have had his jump. I pass the ball on over to OG. OG walks it forward. And look at us go. We won a game. We're so happy. OG's pumped. Zar forgets to fist bump every single time. Like, Zar, you have to work on this, bro. But we did win a game. Ready's like, oh my god, they won a game. Oh my god, that's crazy. But yeah, 1-1 one, one right now in Brawl Ball. Let's hop into the third game. Show you guys what happens. So going into game number three here, we're going to keep the Piper and Lola because we realize that's just kind of an essential at this point. You need to have Piper Lola. They've run it three out of three games. Um, so we're like, all right, you know what? Let's just mirror it. We can probably beat them. Um, and then we kind of had a feeling that they would go back to the gene because the gene worked pretty well game one. So we decided we were going to go with Sprout and try and, you know, just get a matchup on that gene. And I don't know if it's, you know, a hard counter, but I think it's a pretty good matchup. So we're getting a couple taps here. You know, me getting some taps is obviously going to allow Zara to move up. We're hitting a lot of shots. Uh, Zara's hitting some good shots. we got a pinch going. And this is, I mean, this is just very helpful because now no one's pinching OG. Unfortunately, though, the moment OG does get pinched, he does end up going down because, I mean, he was just, he was in a pretty aggro spot uh, and, you know, it happens. But... I mean, we're still looking pretty good here. OG gets Soy to 6. Soy has been on low HP, it feels like, this entire series. But he's going to survive with 61 HP. Uh, their side's open right now. I don't know if that's better or worse for us. But for a Piper, at least, it's better. So I'm kind of rocking with it. Um, I curve Mori. I thought I was going to get the 2-tap on him, but I don't. I grab my curve again, and I shoot at him again because I want to back him up. Uh, he hits me though, but I mean this backs him up this you know No one's shooting at OG at the moment So that kind of allows him to just 1v1 his lane and OG's pretty good at 1v1. So that's pretty good 
Um, I'm gonna get a tap on Mari, another on Maru, one on Maru, or Mori, I don't know, these names are screwing me up, and another one on Maru. I got absolutely melted though. So in our, you know, in a really good chance for me to kind of really open up their side and for us to, you know, have cover to hide behind and them not to. I just had to break that wall, you know, right in front of me. But I go down, I get clipped by the Lolo, which is kind of a throw. Uh, but OG's doing a really good job over here. It's kind of tough for Zar because the map is pretty open, but he's doing a fairly good job. And now I don't think anyone's even touched the ball this game. It's kind of just a battle of who's going to hit more shots. And I mean, Maury's a really good piper. Don't get me wrong. He's, you know, one of the best pipers I've played. And he's definitely diffed me in a lot of these games. But I'm pretty confident when we can just, you know, have an open map. Who can hit more shots? Who can dodge more shots? I think that's more my team's, you know, bread and butter. Uh, so we have them trapped for the first time in this set. Uh, we're doing a pretty good job. Obviously, we can't really go for the ball as... You know, they have a gene pull, and that's kind of scary. Uh, but the gene's one shot. We're getting this Lola Ego out of the way. And now it's overtime. So it's really do or death for us right now. Pretty scary. Mari's going to hit a shot on me. Zara's going to get a really good wall over there. I really like that wall. Um, and now it's kind of just, you know, let's see who can make a play. Let's see who can do what. Maru, or Mari, I can't get these names. Mari hits a shot on me over there. OG's doing a really good job on that right side. I hit one on Mori. Mori's not going to go down. This guy, you know, just please just go down, Mori. Like, please. Finally, he goes down. OG gets a really good clip. I'm going to super the ball, I think, to the left. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to hit a shot. And look at us go. We're so pumped. We won a game. So I remember it's the fist pump. We're going to the next set. I'm in, you know, my slides and socks because, you know, I want to be dripped out like that. And we're going to go into set number four. You know, this guy, you know, he's putting a heart. He's like, yeah, they want a set. But yeah, let's go into set number four, which is going to be Heist Hot Potato. And let's show you guys the pain of a set that that was. Let's hop into it. Show you guys what happens. So going into game one here, we decide to go with a comp we're pretty comfortable with, which is Ruffs, Rico, and Lola. Now, something about Europe that I have noticed is that they are really fundamentally sound. So... Europe is kind of, or was known, I guess, before this is, you know, this crazy region that's really good and really competitive. And although I do agree that they have a lot of really good teams and they are a very strong region, um, I don't think it's their skill which sets them apart from other regions. I think it's how well they play, how, how much of an understanding they have, you know, playing brawlers into certain matchups. They keep switching Soy onto Zar because they know the goal for us here is to get that power up onto Zar. And then once we have that power up, what we want to do is give it to the Lola and spray the safe. And they are like, no, that's that's not happening. You can just lane a Barley. And that Barley is going to play as passive as possible. The Barley does not care about hitting the safe. The Barley does not care about doing anything. It is just not going to let Zar get a super. And it is slowly but surely going to work Zar back. And if Zar has worked back, just the pressure of the Barley being there, maybe shooting the mid a couple times is going to throw off OG. It's going to kind of... Ruin OG's mojo. So we finally get a wall break a minute and 20 into the game here. Uh, so that's obviously really good for us. OG's going to try and pick that up once we get positioning. But obviously, you know, we got to get positioning first. Barley's going to go down. OG's going to use his super. I'm going to use my super and we're going to get a lot of value there. So this is our chance to push up. This is our chance to make a play. Um, I'm going to go pretty aggro here. I just want to get some damage because it's kind of been a stalemate the entire time. And now we're down by two percent which is kind of unfortunate i think something that we should have done uh more was look at exactly what the score was because i feel like we definitely could have taken the lead over there and us not having the lead just allows them to play super passive uh, we just had to get one shot on safe or something um so i mean Zara's gonna win his lane he's gonna do a good job so this is our chance to take the lead over here maru is gonna go for a super he's gonna miss i have my super now so i'm planning to get that on safe you know, it's kind of 50-50 here for who has positioning. It's, you know, the game's kind of getting intense at this moment. I'm just trying to get my super off. But again, they can just play passive. They don't have to go for any damage. I get a little bit, but it doesn't matter because they're going to get some as well. And that is going to be it for game number one. So I think if we were just a little bit more aware of, you know, the damage and the percentages. And if we just went when we had that positioning for the safe rather than trying to get some kills. Um, I think this game could have been a different story. But, I mean, you know, that's that. That's going to be it for game number one. So, let's hop into game number two. Show you guys what happens. So, going into game number two here, we're going to go with basically the same comp. But we're going to switch out the dog for Barley. Now, again, these guys, like, 
in EU, they're so passive, man. Like, they just sit, and I'm, I'm not, it's not like a roast or anything. I, it's, it's actually probably a compliment because they're playing it smart. But, like, this guy is not going to walk into my shots. Like, there is just no, he is like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm standing right here. You know, I have some good positioning. I'm not risking getting hit by one of your shots. I hit him with two, actually, uh, which forces him to use a gadget. But still, like, it's just so passive. Like, it's so toxic um, to lane up against because it's just a passive show. I mean, it's been 40, it's been 50 seconds. And the, the first super of the game just got to OG and Zara, which means, I mean, we are out chipping them. But, you know, what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? Not really that much because no one's moving anywhere. Uh, Moru's gonna go for a play. He's gonna get Zar kind of low. Zar's gonna get him to like half. So everyone is just even right now. We're halfway through the game. Everyone's perfectly even. I use a gadget uh, because my, a couple of my teammates weren't full HP. So I thought, you know, I got three right now. Let's let's use one. I don't need to, you know, save them for the next game or anything. So he's gonna get a super. He's gonna launch that one out. Give Mori some room to go up. Mario's gonna go up and get a really aggro play on OG, you know, do really good. Mario's gonna survive with 2 HP, you know, the totem special during this match, you know, surviving on one shot. Very sad for us. Um, and this is looking pretty grim because, again, we're on match point and we're down uh, to our, you know, this is our last shot. If we lose this game, we're done. I got my super now. Zara's got a super. OG has his super. I'm gonna gadget and super out the mid. OG's, or sorry, Zara's gonna super the mid. He's gonna hit a lot of shots on Mori. If we were able to move up over here, I think we would have done a ton of damage. Uh, but we didn't. Uh, either way, OG's gonna move up. He's gonna use his ego. I don't think it's gonna get any value. Oh, never mind. It's gonna kill, or not kill, but do work to Mori. Zara gets a kill on his lane. I'm taking shots at the safe. And finally, we are getting some damage. Currently a tie game. Soy has me at half HP. I think he kind of rushes this a little bit. I think he could have killed me, but we're going to be ending up getting the kill on Soy. He's only going to do 8%. I'm going to go forward, you know, get some barley shots on the safe. Zara's going to get a Rico super on the safe, and we barely survive elimination, and we win this game. And, you know, one more game. That's all we need to get to our best map, Ring of Fire. We need one more game, and we get there. Let's show you guys what happens in this game. All right, so getting into the next game here, we decide to go with Surge. Uh, the reason we went with Surge is because we wanted to counter the Barley. We're pretty certain they were keeping this comp no matter what um, with the bands that were in place. So, I mean, I think it was a pretty good pick. Uh, I think the best pick would have been Edgar. Um, but I think this is a decent pick. So I'm going to TP over here onto the Barley. I'm going to be able to pick up that kill. And I think we probably should have pinched Mori, uh, but it's not like I communicated to my team that I was going to, you know, go up and get that barley. It's kind of just something that I saw in the moment, like a good opportunity. So I did that. Um, and there was no follow-up. Again, not their fault, but I think a follow-up would have been really good and we probably would have gotten some damage or at least a kill. Uh, Mario is going to have his super because I TP'd up very aggressively and they're going to get a little bit of damage onto the safe. They're going to get... 11 total percent so here you know i'm kind of just chilling i'm kind of doing my thing it's kind of hard to surge super onto a rico because you know he has his gadget so i was waiting for him to be mid shot we bait out his gadget and i get my tier three get some positioning hit one shot over there on mori hit another one so you know here we go like this is our time uh it's looking pretty good right here we have to be shooting the safe so i take one shot on safe um, I get a kill onto Soy, we get a shot onto Maru, and I use my last TP to stay alive over there. Don't know if that was worth it or not. Because what ends up happening now is we are down 1%. I know, shocker, they, you know, it's this 1%, or, you know, surviving on 1 HP. It seems like it happens so many times, uh, probably because I've watched this 800 times, so... I mean, I just noticed these things now, but um, I can't TP onto the Rico, so I really can't make an aggressive play to win my lane. So I'm kind of just poking, you know, and hoping that Maru makes a misplay, but these guys have been playing so well today. I don't think a misplay is going to happen. I get a shot onto Mari, and again, we just need 1%. So these guys, they don't have to go aggro. They don't have to do anything. They just have to chill and do their thing. It's a pretty tough lane for Zar being on a Barley. He's trying to do some work. He's trying to get some shots off, but he really can't. And every time, you know, I hit my lane, my lane just walks back. So I can't really do anything. I hit a shot over there on Mori. They have a gadget. You know, we're going to go in. We're going to dive. We're going to do our best. But unfortunately, it is not going to happen. They're going to win by 1%. And that is going to knock us out of the world 
finals. That's, you know, it was really unfortunate because, you know, the next map is our best map. Um, but you know what? Smiles on our faces, you know, obviously we're sad, you know, we're not too happy losing, you know, who is, but, um, you know, we, we're pretty happy we made it. Um, we're happy with, we're not happy with how we did, but we're happy with, you know, how hard we tried and that we battle, you know, we're, we're going to be nice, going to give them props and everything, you know, oh, you guys are so good, you know, all that stuff. And, and you know, they are pretty good, but, uh, oh, we threw, we threw that layer cake game. I'll never forget. I'm never going to forget that game. That game is going to haunt me forever. Um, we lost by 1% on heist or a couple percent on heist. It seems like a couple times. So, you know what? It sucks, but that's going to be it for the totem games. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we have a match versus, oh, there's my protesto in the background. We have a match versus Tribe Gaming uh, today in Queso. So I'm going to record that. Hopefully I can record the VC, uh, or I mean the voice chat, and uh, have a really good video for you guys for tomorrow. But, you know, Daily Uploader is done his video for today. So I will see you guys another time. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll just see you guys later. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time. Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.